topic is your cdna cloning so we have a mrna with 3 days terminal having the poly atl from the rna to get the dna we have to use the reverse transcriptase enzyme this enzyme needs a primer and that primer could be like a poly T because this poly T will be complementary to that poly A tail that's found in the eukaryotic mRNA three days reason. So once we attach a poly T in this three days terminal, then this reverse transcripts enzyme will start and will start formation of DNA by using this mRNA as a complementary strand. After it's done, now this mRNA need to be degraded. We here use the RNA's H enzyme. We use this enzyme partially so that it cut out most of this RNA DNA hybrid, leaving a few of them still that can be used for the primer used by this DNA polymerase enzyme that will synthesize this DNA fragments. Once it's done, the DNA polymerase 1 will be used. This enzyme remove and also make the new one nucleotide to add on that to be detection of 5 days to 3 days direction. You can better understand in this picture, let me show you. Like here, this is a nick. So this DNA polymer is one, recognize that single strand will break and bind with that. After binding, it simultaneously degrade the DNA ahead and also synthesizes new strand behind the nick. In this way, it completely forms a new strand of DNA by removing those all the strand in the direction of your 5 dash to 3 dash direction. After it's done, now we have our DNA of interest. A few portion still have the RNA that can be removed by the enzyme that found inside the cell of the bacteria. Here, to combine our desired T gene in this vector, we need to add a poly C and uh, that is done by this enzyme terminal transferage this enzyme helps to add this policy tail at the treatise end and uh, we have the vector having complementary polygy strength which will best pair with that of your C I mean policy to join this that will be used for cloning purpose to multiply our target gene. Thank you.